like she said is a little long and I guess kind of winded uh, I'm sorry for that it's called uh, mischievously clever or self-willed uh, persons and other shenanigans and that last one was uh, my grandfather's idea um, well uh, like it's my first solo show outside of the university I just graduated in December um, I've been in many other shows at both at UTEP and outside of UTEP uh, but never a solo show uh, and my inspiration came as uh, in the form of my grandfather. He did a series, well, he lives in Michoacan, and he did a series of the little alebrijes or the little diablitos, and they're from uh, what we'll call the Comicho. And these little figurines, uh, the reason why these were made by the locals is that uh, when either animals or people started either acting up or going crazy, uh, they were thought that the devil was around and he was kind of possessing the people. So the local townsfolk began making these figurines in order for the devil or spirits to have something to inhabit instead of people or animals or plants and have the plants uh, die out. Uh, so that was his series and I wanted, like I said, to do kind of a, an homage to my grandfather and his work. So instead of doing the figurines, I wanted to keep the Mexican uh, traditional aesthetic in the form of the masks. And the first five paintings inside are mine, and then I'm sure you've seen some of the, the prints. Uh, so I wanted to use a mask in order to, to kind of keep my own sense of artistic identity, but as with an homage to my grandfather's uh, work. Um, I also had underlying ideas like identity, or the lack of identity, or the search of one's identity uh, by the means of the mask. Uh, I did find out that once I told people, like, hey, would you wear this mask for me so I can take some pictures? And once they put it on, I mean, people start to act differently. So um, it is, like, I suppose, a sense of anonymity and freedom that they feel when they put the mask on. Um, I know that some of the pictures that I took were a little, I guess, risque, or they started acting too silly, and I wasn't a fan of that. It was just kind of an exploration and an idea that I got of how people act once they put on a mask. Um, and I believe that's it. Okay, so... And then questions. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Oku Metro. I thought I knew my way around Metro Khan, but I, I can't recall the, uh, where, where that is. Uh, could you give us an idea in relation to other principal cities where Oku Metro is? Uh, well, there's Pascuaro, Santa Marta. Uh, I mean, they're all around near the lake. Uh, I see. Thank you. Any other questions for Marco? Well, if you have a question later on and you're probably shy and you don't want to talk to him like he's going to be right here. And he's, uh, I mean, he's very talented. Very few times uh, it's a gallery. I mean, I give opportunity to new artists. First of all, is I have to see the talent and I think he has it. Uh, second one, responsibility. I see talent, I don't see responsibility, I don't take the risk. Because I might not get any painting the date of the exhibit, so I don't. And then he has all this 
attributes, and, and that's amazing. I think he's going to really do well in this difficult, difficult, difficult world of the art. And we as an artist, I think we always try to strive to do our best in our paintings, and I think he's trying to do that. He's putting a lot of patience, technique, and I would say innovation, because he's, he's out of the cookie cutter uh, artist than I see at his age. So I would like, if, if any of you, then to support his art, take a piece of it, him. Actually, when you buy his art, you take a piece of this artist to your house, to your home. So if you can, uh, please do it. Uh, I think we need to support the artists and talking about supporting the artists and the galleries in town. The new art gallery is going to be open pretty soon at Overland, 300 Overland. As, uh, the gallery name is going to be Luz Flor de Luna. A friend of mine, Lorena Garcia, is the owner. She's taken the risk to open the art gallery. And if you are an artist and interested in joining her art gallery, please send her an email at lorena at flordelunagallery.com. And welcome to the gallery and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you for coming and supporting us. Thank you. Thank you.